five things women with PCOS should know about hypothyroidism. Yes. Today's topic is all about PCOS and hypothyroidism. Both of these are very common endocrine health problem. Though they are common endocrine health issues, however, they both have a very different root cause. Yet, they both are very intricately connected. And many of the times, the PCOS women do not pay attention to these points and they can to complicate their life. So, what are those five important things which every PCOS woman should know about hypothyroidism? Listen to the video very carefully and in the fifth tip, I am going to talk about how can you prevent yourself from PCOS and hypothyroidism. Namaste. My name is Dr. Tanvi Mayur Patel. I am an endocrinologist, hormone specialist doctor from Mumbai, India. Now before I continue this video, one important information, if you want to watch this video in Hindi language, then on the i button and below in the description box, there is a link. If you click on that link, then this video will be played in Hindi language for you. अगर आप इस वीडियो को हिंदी भाषा में देखना चाहते हैं तो ऊपर आई बटन पे और नीचे डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में एक लिंक है अगर आप उस लिंक पे क्लिक करते हैं तो इस वीडियो को आप हिंदी भाषा में पाएंगे सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू आवर टुडेज टॉपिक सी एज आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर पी सी ओ एस दैट इज पॉलीसिस्टिक ओवरियन सिंड्रोम इज अ वेरी कॉमन एंडोक्राइन हेल्थ प्रॉब्लम सो एज अ हाइपोथाइरोडिज्म Being an a hormone specialist and an endocrinologist doctor, I see plenty many patients day in day out of the PCOS and a hypothyroidism. And when I ask a medical history to this patient, and when I ask them, "Do you have a thyroid problem?" the patient usually goes in the defensive mode. They say, "No, doctor, I don't have any thyroid problem. I have only PCOS. I don't have thyroid problem." and that is the time when you as a pcos women should know about hypothyroidism because if you know what to be done and how to be done it is very important that you will protect yourself from many many unwanted things so what are those five things the very first thing is that pcos women are high likely to have a hypothyroidism there are plenty many studies have been done and in those studies it is found that the pcos women have 22 to 23% higher chances of having hypothyroidism compared to those people who didn't have a pcos okay and in general population otherwise the incidence of hypothyroidism is anywhere between 5 to 8% but the moment you have a pcos this risk increases by 22 to 23% also though pcos is considered more of a lifestyle health problem and a thyroid problem is considered more of a autoimmune health issues they both are very intricately linked with each other at a later stage and that's the reason why they both can coexist second important point is that the people who have a pcos in those individuals hypothyroidism can be missed out very easily yes see symptoms of the pcos and symptoms of the hypothyroidism are very much similar and because of that plenty many times the patients are always focusing themselves in getting their pcos in a correct way many times even doctors don't do the thyroid function test and that's the reason why thyroid diagnosis can be missed out very easily having said that how do we diagnose the thyroid problem see for that you need to do a detailed thyroid function test Many a times for a screening we do use a TSH that is a thyroid stimulating hormone but understand that TSH though it is considered a very reliable test but may not always indicate a thyroid issue so it is always advisable that you get yourself a complete detailed analysis in that we find out your tsh level we find out your t3 and t4 hormone levels we also find out the antibodies level 
so comprehensively when we do all this testing we can very confidently say that you do not have a thyroid problem so if you have a PCOS make sure that on a regular basis you keep checking for your detailed thyroid function test to rule out if you have any hypothyroidism or not third important thing which you should know that PCOS women when they have a hypothyroidism the symptoms can get aggravated yes see what happens that when you have a PCOS your ovary is already having plenty many small tiny follicles which are not functioning properly and causing you the hormonal imbalance similarly when you have a hypothyroidism the disturbance of the thyroid hormone again causes the very similar issues in the ovary and because of that the ovaries will have lot of tiny little follicles not only that the pc or hypothyroidism can also aggravate the insulin resistance which is the root cause of the pcos and because of this insulin resistance a few more diseases can also get complicated also when your thyroid is in imbalanced state you also tend to have a disturbance in the male hormone what we call it as a hyperandrogenism and because of this high level of the male hormone especially the testosterone the women usually have a irregular periods they may have a loss of a scalp hair they can have an unwanted hair over their face and the body which we call it as a hirsutism and they can also have a acne all of that can also happen because of the hypothyroidism complicated into the pcos so these are the symptoms which can happen fourth thing is that hypothyroidism can in fact complicate the pcos yes see what happens when you have a hypothyroidism your body's metabolism is very very slow and a sluggish and because of the slow metabolism you have a tendency to put on the weight and as you gain weight that is the main core problem of the PCOS and as you gain weight the more and more insulin resistance will be created and the more insulin resistance you will be pushed into a stage of a metabolic syndrome wherein you have a higher chances of having a type 2 diabetes or a disturbance in the cholesterol or you can also have a high blood pressure so these complications can happen similarly when the hypothyroidism is there especially when it is uncontrolled you can have a disturbance in your menstrual cycle and because of that many a times the women especially if they are trying for the conception they are finding it very difficult to conceive and they are struggling with the infertility so these are the ways your hypothyroidism can in fact complicate the pcos now the fifth and the most important tip as i promised you earlier in the video is a prevention tip vitamin d and the iodine they both help see uh, the vitamin d is a very very important vitamin and especially if you have a pcos you can have a vitamin d deficiency There are plenty many research and studies have found that if you have a sufficient amount of the vitamin D, your chances of having PCOS reduces. Also, what happens due to the weight gain in the PCOS, these obese and the overweight women, they need more vitamin D. So that way, you can protect yourself from PCOS by having a sufficient amount of the vitamin D. Second micronutrient is the iodine. iodine again a very important micronutrient for the functioning of the thyroid gland when your body has a sufficient iodine you will protect yourself from many thyroid related diseases like a goiter and even hypothyroidism in fact if you have a right balance of the iodine the autoimmune problem also doesn't happen so make sure that you get the right balance of the iodine and the vitamin d all right So today we talk about the five those important things about hypothyroidism which every PCOS women have. 
So if you have a PCOS, make sure that you repetitively check yourself for the thyroid imbalance and if yes, then treat it accordingly. All right. I hope after watching this video, you got some good useful information. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe so that you get more and more health related information. And if you have any of your personalized question whose answer you are seeking for, please write your question below in the comment box. I try to read and answer them as early as I can. We will meet again with some new good interesting topic. Till then, take care of yourself. Namaste.